I see the true site cardio sequencing kit being important because it encompasses all genes known to cause um, inherited cardiac conditions. So the mutations in these genes are penetrant. They have effects which count. And I think a vision I would have uh, would be that this was used up front as part of a large-scale clinical trial, as a, in addition to the more GWAS approach, looking at common variants, you'd be looking for rare variants in these genes. And I think that would be uh, useful in looking at outcomes and responses and, and actually in stratifying patients for future studies, because it may well be that their genotype predicts their outcome as opposed to their phenotype. Uh, and that's going to be very important in terms of stratified medicine approaches for the future. One reason for generating the, the True Site Cardio Sequencing Panel was to be able to be comprehensive in what we do. You may ask why, uh, and the reasons for this uh, are many, but just to illustrate maybe two of those, is one is that these inherited cardiac conditions are not due to a single gene, they're due to multiple genes and multiple large genes, so not just look at one of them. There's current approaches you might see, see sequence one, two, three, maybe four. Here we're going to do all of them. So why don't I just use whole exome sequencing or indeed whole uh, genome sequencing? And this is a question that's often put forward. So the reason for this is we want to be sure that we have got everything, that we are at a level where I can put my hand on my heart and say at 20x I have 20x coverage, I have 100% coverage of the gene that I'm interested in. That includes exon 1, which is highly GC rich, which other things missed. And we have done head-to-head -head comparison against whole exome sequencing from different vendors and whole genome sequencing, and they don't even come close to what we can do with the TrueSight cardio sequencing panel. Uh, and so we can do it quicker, faster, cheaper, and more comprehensively than we can with exome sequencing.